how to use Ticket Tool on Discord. So that is what I'm going to show you guys in this super quick and easy tutorial. So let's get into it. So the first thing that we need to do is to open our browser right here and then search for tickettool.xyz. Now what we're going to do here, once you're here, is to go here on the dashboard. And once you're now here on the dashboard, what we're going to do is to click log in with Discord. Now once you do that, just log in with your account. And then once you're now here, what we're going to do is to click authorize. Once you click authorize right there, the next thing that we need to do is to click this invite, which is right there. And then click continue to Discord. And then add the bot to the server wherein you want to add it. So I'm going to choose this one right here and then click continue. Now in this part, if you want to change the rules of the ticket tool, it's up to you, but I will just leave it as it is. And then I will click authorize again. Once you see that it is a success, if you go back right here into our Discord and in this part, if you go here on the show member list, you will see that we have now already added the ticket tool. Now the next thing that we're going to do, what we're going to do is to go to the server settings, which is right here. So on the server settings, what we're going to do next is to go into the roles. Now, as you can see, we now have the roles right here. Now, however, if you want to create a role, let's say, for example, we want to create members right there. So let's click changes and then also moderator. And then let's create another role, which is the support staff. And then after that, just click save changes. And then once you've created that, what we're going to do is to put the ticket tool below the moderator and then uh, the support staff under the ticket tool and then let's put the members all the way down below which is right here once you do that let's click save changes again and then let's go back right here into the home page what we're going to do is to right click on this part and then click create category now we're going to name this support and then make sure that you enable the private category right there and then click next now select the roles that have access to this category so i was going to click all of them and then click create a category once you've created that what we're going to do is to click this plus icon right here and then in this text what we're going to do is to just name it again so if you want to name that all you have to do is to name it to whatever you want and then i'm going to create channel once you've created the channel right there let's go back into the ticket tool and then let's go here on the home page let's go to dashboard let's click manage and then in this part, let's create a panel. So just click the plus icon right here. And then let's name this support again. So it's, if you want to name it differently, you can also do that. But I will just name it support. So I'm going to click create. And then once you click that, let's click the general right here. And then to, for the support team roles, just choose which role have access to this. So I'm going to click support staff. And then for the additional role, if you want to add, it's up to you. I'm just going to click save right here. And then once you click that, let's go to back. Let's go on the category and then for the category created open, let's click the support and then let's click save. Once you click save, let's go back again. Let's go to messages and then click edit panel message and then click the embed editor right here. Now, if you want to customize it, all you have to do is to customize it, but I will just leave it as it is. And then once you do that, let's go here on the panel configs again. So just click that and then click the send and then on the general, let's click the support. And then once you do that, just click send again. And then once you click send, if we go back right here, as you can see, we now have the ticket tool right here. We're in, if you click the create ticket, you will now be able to create a ticket right there. And then you will see that it has created a new text. And then once you do that, if you want to close it, all you have to do is to click close and then click close again. And then that should be it. So that is basically it. That is basically, that is how to use ticket tool in Discord.